Okay, this is Eric at Flex PVC. I'm just making this little video to show you how you can seal an actual leak. This one's going to be under pressure using uh, my technique that I showed you in the other video, but I just wanted everybody to see this really does work. Um, not just take everybody's <laughs> comments. Or thank you everybody for the comments. Everybody who used this technique and fixed their leaks, I really appreciate the comments and let us know that it worked. I don't think there's any doubt. Um, although there are some people who still are complainers, I guess. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to show you this really is leaking. What happened here was I forgot to drain it this year, and this was all filled with water and it froze during the winter. So you can probably see in the camera there's a crack right there, and I'm just so you can see it, I'm going to get wet just so I can show you, but here we go. So you can see the leak's pretty good. All right, I'm going to uh, attempt to repair that leak. Uh, using my technique with the vacuum. Okay, so you'll see me in the next video All right, this is Eric. I'm back. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to talk so you just have to watch because the vacuum is gonna make too much noise Okay, what I'm showing here is running the dauber across the crack and if you recall, the crack was uh, mostly vertical. So when I'm running my dauber, I'm running it horizontally across. This helps to push the primer down into the crack where the vacuum can then suck it into the crack. So you just want to do that uh, when you have a really big leak like this. Okay, I just wanted to turn this off. If you, if you, I don't know how the camera's picking this up. Let me look here. Uh, it's a little hard to see. Uh, zoom this in as much as I can. Okay, so um, if you watch carefully, you can actually see the, the crack starting to disappear because what's happening is the glue is, uh, excuse me, sorry, the primer is melting the PVC and the, and the vacuum is actually sucking it in. So in certain places where the crack was uh, very uh, narrow, it, you can't even see the crack anymore. It's gone. It's because it's melted the... Uh, primer and the vacuum has sucked it in. So I'm going to finish the job here. This one might take two, two tries. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit uh, for probably an hour or so. Um, it's late night here, um, and uh, th that's a real bad leak. So, and that's under pressure, and it's a crack fitting. You saw the crack. You saw how, much, how bad the water was coming out. There's no way this should work, but I think you'll be surprised. Okay, so I'll, I'll try and do a, a little bit a later video. I'll do a little bit more. I'm going to do it a second time, and then I'm going to let it sit overnight. And tomorrow we'll test it. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so it's been about 15, 16, 17 hours uh, since last night when I made the initial repair attempt. And I wanted to come back up and give it a, a second hit. Uh, this was a really bad leak. This is as bad as you'll ever face. But I wanted to show you uh, just how effective this method is. So, uh, and last night I realized something. This morning I was thinking about it. This crack right here, it uh, goes down and under, and I can't see how far it goes to the back. It might go all the way around, might come up on the other side, I don't know. But I know when I did it last night that I did not get my glue and primer all the way around the back. So that's why it's another reason why I want to hit it again on a second time. And so I'll go ahead and do that now and uh, make some noise. <laughs>
Okay, so all we can do now is wait. I'm gonna let this set up uh, for several hours before I test it. Ideally, I'd like to test it tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll be able to get a chance to do that tomorrow. So I might come out here uh, later tonight and, and give it a test. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, I didn't get the back because last night because uh, when I hit it with the primer, I thought I heard that sucking sound uh, on the back side. So I think uh, there might have been a crack still in the back that I didn't get. So I'm glad I went through the second time. And I still don't know if this is going to uh, guarantee fix it, but I definitely wanted to show you the worst case scenario and, uh, and if this uh, solution will fix the problem. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, we'll be back here probably about 12 hours from now, and I'll go ahead and give it a test. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay, YouTube. It's now been about 40 hours from when I made the initial repair right in here. And then last night, I came and did a follow-up repair because I was worried that I didn't get my glue and primer all the way in the back because this crack went down here and went around and I couldn't see how far it went in the back. And I realized after I did it the first time that I needed to come back and hit that again. So so uh, after the first day, I came and hit it again. So I'm now about 40 hours. So I put a pressure gauge on here because I'm afraid there's a lot of negative people on YouTube and somebody might say I'm trying to cheat. And so there's a gauge on it so you'll be able to see the actual pressure come up. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go kind of easy on it first. I don't want to hit it there. Okay, I can see some water drip already out of the gauge right there. So we definitely have some. There we go. Got a little, oh, that's a crummy gauge. Not our great flex PVC gauge. Oh, I've got water dripping out of the top. Okay, well, that means we've already got water there. There we go. Full pressure. I got water dripping out of the cooler up top. I was just, <laughs> for a second, I thought it didn't hold. Uh, but there, you can see water dripping. There's water coming from the above where our swamp cooler is. But you will notice that gigantic crack that was shooting water all over the place is now sealed. Now, is this a permanent <laughs> repair? Probably not. If I were to hit this, uh, it would probably break open. If it freezes again, it will definitely break open. But of course, after this, I'm going to make sure I never forget to drain this in the winter so that this doesn't crack again. Eventually, I'm sure I'll end up replacing this tea because... Uh, I just don't want to take a chance. I mean, somebody could come in here and bump this and it might pop it open. But I just, I, I had an opportunity. I saw the crack. I said, there's a good chance for it to show people that the, uh, the repair really does work and you can see the actual technique. Uh, one thing I did, I don't know if I said it when I was doing it because the vacuum cleaner was running. Uh, I really used a lot of primer, okay, a lot. Uh, I knew this was going to be a real difficult repair. It was big. It was cr uh, spreading wide open. So I needed that um, primer to get really sucked in there. Also, I didn't get a perfect vacuum because this is the line going to the cooler and up at the top, I don't know if you can hear it filling right now, but up at the top, uh, the valve was open because there was no water in the cooler. So uh, it, it was a leak, so to speak. Uh, there's, it's a tiny little quarter inch copper line, so it wasn't a big leak, but it wasn't a perfect vacuum. So I, uh, I really wanted to put a lot of primer in there and make sure it really got sucked in because I wasn't sure how strong the vacuum was going to be to pull that uh, primer in through the uh, crack. Anyways, there it is. You can see it. There we've got well, one of the other pumps turned on. Uh, there we've got uh, almost 40 PSI. I mean, I don't know if I went to 100 or 200. I don't know what would happen, but uh, it's holding at 40 PSI. Uh, the stupid gauge is leaking more than the crack. I mean, the crack's not leaking at all. If you need any help, give us a call. Uh, uh, FlexPVC.com is the website. My name is Eric. You can call me 888-782-3539. Uh, Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a second uh, video I'm just making just because the pump kicked in and uh, the pressure is building. We're up to about 43, 44, I can't really tell um, from this angle. But uh, I just want to see if it pops open when we get to a higher pressure. I don't think it will, but um, I just I want to run it and see. There, uh, this gauge is really junky. You can see it jumping around. There. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're uh, 55 psi, which is exactly what that pump is set to. So that's it. That's 55 psi on a crack that was massive, caused by a frozen pipe, and the vacuum method of uh, PVC pipe repair worked, and it is holding. So we'll see. If it, if it breaks open, I'll let you know. And uh, as long as nobody hits this, I'm pretty sure it'll be a pretty good repair. At least until I get a chance to cut it out and change it. All right, thanks.